This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart, Germany. 2020 range from Pilot and for this year, Pilot has brought out this camper van, V600 uh, G4, priced from 46 1600 you know these prices don't make it mean anything because there you come down to the special price which is 53,505 and that's because it's had certain things added uh, to it which are specified uh, there most expensive of which is a rela relax packet which includes the awning and uh, well that's the most important of them so um, right we'll have a look inside uh, I want to give you the dimensions. Okay, four, oh, there you go, six meters. Uh, well, I can tell that anyway. I want, that. I want it in writing. Fresh water, 110. Gray water, 80. Three and a half ton basis. Uh, just looking at it, I would have thought it weighed hmm, about 2,800. Uh, to my eye, I might be completely wrong. It might have uh, lead on the side. It might have uh, titanium in the engine. I don't know, but uh, for that price, it probably doesn't. So uh, let's assume you're getting six seven hundred kilos of payload right let's go inside have a, a walk right down to the back so it's got a widthwise bed so uh, I was talking to a lady yesterday she tells me her boyfriend is 188 centimeters and he fits in one of these so uh, I thought he's a bit uncomfortable Mind you, if I'd been with her, I wouldn't have been a bit uncomfortable. So, uh, that apart, what we've got here, we've got uh, quite a clever use of the toilet, sort of going in and out under the bed. But, let's remember that where there are moving parts, things break. So, this has been done by various other companies, such as uh, Cartago. This one, I've got to say, or even Eastman Bishop in their liners, uh, so sort of eight meter plus uh, liners, you've got something like that. There's me in the mirror, and you can see how much space I've got there. Oh, the thing is open above me. Oh, you can't see that, sorry. No, you can see it. Uh, you can see, there you go. So there's a bit of space uh, above me. Of course, if you were much taller than I am, it might be a bit difficult. And it also might be a bit difficult if you're much fatter than I am because, oh dear, of course I've got a bag on my back, I forgot, sorry. Bag on the back. There you are. there's the sink uh, coming out like that. I can see that getting broken. Better put it away before I break it. When there's lights come on. The lights come on automatically. Oh, I like that. Yep. It's also got a sensible sliding door. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna come inside and come around like this. So you can see the sensible sliding door from the inside. Oh, and there's somebody's telephone number. 287937. So give them a ring and tell them what you think of the door. Now, I'm coming out the shower again because there's not a lot of room in here. I do have this bulge on my back though, so that. Uh, uh, right, one thing you've got though, you've got this shower curtain that comes round. I hope that this door is completely uh, water resistant or whatever the word is, it doesn't absorb water. Uh, those shower curtains are most unpleasant. I'm sure everybody here has used shower curtains where there's not much space and. Uh, they stick to you. Right, here's the fridge, I'll show you the fridge. Due to popular demand, I'll show the fridge and a freezer. So the walls look a bit on the thick side there. Oops. Oh, this one is locked. No, it's not. Couldn't see what to lock it either. There. Oh, there's the bin. There's a there's a novelty for bins. Complete waste of space doing it like that, in my opinion. So much space wasted. Well, it's a relatively uh, 
straightforward camper van. I mean, here it, it look, does look quite good though. I mean, uh, they're having to uh, try putting something in this bulwark, which is always a good idea. I mean, it's a Fiat Ducato, so uh, people do like to try messing around with them. This bench seat though looks a bit uh, on the large side. It might be okay if you're a tall adult, but if you're a child, it'll be, uh, or even if you're not particularly tall, it won't be particularly comfortable. We've got an extension here to the, to the kitchen and something down there as well. Right. Now, question, does this convert into some form of a bed? And uh, the answer is, it appears, no, it doesn't. Uh, it's only two sleeping spaces. But, and so that is the reason for having that seat so, uh, so long at the bottom there. Because uh, when it converts to a bed, you need all that extra space. Why do you need it now? Probably because the water uh, tank is uh, beneath it, so they had to do it like that. Uh, I think that I think I think that seat is actually too long for most people. Now, having said all that, as I'm a bit odd and I sit cross-legged uh, at the table, uh, this is due to uh, problems I had my back, and I found this, uh, that really uh, got rid of my back problems. Uh, that would be great for me, but for uh, the overwhelming majority of people, it wouldn't be uh, much good. Anyway, right, so 46,600 starting price. As I said, this one is 53,500. Uh, right, so well, let's have a look at some of the other things we've got here. Uh, we've got this Renault Traffic here. Uh, we'll have a quick look at that, I think. It's uh, not, not, uh, not particularly impressive, in my opinion. I can't remember. The price actually is not here any longer. But I did know the price, and now I've forgotten it. Never mind. Well, I'll just stick this in. It's just a, I mean, it's a car, isn't it, really, with a bit of camping stuff there on, on the side. Well, this turns into a bed, admittedly, okay, and you've got the bed up there in the tent. All right. Now, I know you want, to, you want to see this one here. We'll have a quick look inside this. We might have to do a separate video on this. This thing costs 374780 So, effectively, you could get seven of these camper vans here. There, this one here we've just seen the V600 G4. For the price of one of these, this starts at 330,000, but if you've got all that money, I don't suppose you're gonna take the base price anyway. You've got a thing there on the floor. And the music's on, so we're not, we're not, we're not going in. But anyway, so that sort of gives you a vague idea. Right, never mind. Sorry, keep put music on, then I can't go in. Let's have another look here, we've got another Le Voyageur. I received a press information about this one here. Uh, just come out 2020, January 2020, that's now. Uh, don't suppose it'll be available for months to come. Yeah, another camper van, V60J1. Let's have a look in this inside. This costs 62,875. Well, it starts off at 50,000. Starts off roughly the same as this one, really isn't it? Not much more. Okay, lengthwise beds at the back. Oh, I like this, mind you. This looks nice, doesn't it? Look at the kitchen top. Aha, I like that. That looks good. How do you open it? Does it open? Or is it broken? No, it hasn't broken yet. Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, that's a good one. You know, some vans have this system where the lights come on as you come into the van. Here, Pilot has advanced that so the lights go off as you come in the van. Well, I'll show you this here, if it were working. Right, so some, somebody's put music on. So I'm afraid that's it as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, put music over the top. But whilst uh, the music is playing this out, uh, then I will uh, uh, show you around the rest of the stand. How does that sound? 